Hello, my lovelies, and welcome to my show, Christina Explorers. Follow me around the Houston area as I learn people's inspiring stories, all while experiencing the eats, entertainment, and everything in between. Let's go. Pictures allow us to travel back in time and relive our memories over and over again. If you're looking for a professional photographer to capture you living in the moment, you're in luck because we are about to highlight Gloss and Photo. But first, like this video if you have ever photobombed a picture. If you have not photobombed a picture before, number one, I think you're lying, and then number two, you need to comment below. Gloss and Photo is in the business of capturing special moments of Houstonians, including engagements, weddings, graduations, trendy outfit ensembles, and much more. I had a great convo with Ismail and Vicky, the brother-sister duo that run Gloss and Photo. Here they are right now. I am here with the co-founders of Gloss and Photo. I have Vicky, who is the creative director and photographer. And then I also have the lead photographer, Ismail. How's it going? And I am just so happy to have them because they're actually my friends and they run a bomb photography business. You guys have taken some wonderful photos and I'm glad that we can chat a little bit today. So first, I do want to start off with a fun question for each of y'all. So for Vicky, if you were to change your name, what would your new name be moving forward? Hmm. I don't know. I think this is really random, but I feel like Amelia. Amelia. That's like a really cool name. It's on my <laughs> list for like my face. It's a cool name. Yeah, it's a cool name. It's very unique. I could cool. see it, yeah. I can see it. Yeah. For some reason that reminds me of like the Amelia Bedelia books. Do you remember that from like first grade? I thought Earhart, but you know. <laughs> No, but I, I think it would work for sure. <laughs> and then for Iz, your question is, if you were to be any city in the world, what city would you choose to be? So 100% New York. New York. Like, the reason I say that is because I feel like, you know, just hustle there and yeah. quick pace nature of the city. Yeah. Like that kind of describes me and yeah. just how there's so much going on. I think that kind of describes myself. So. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that's I like, that's no, no surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is you're always traveling or always like moving to the next thing. So I definitely think that New York would be a fitting city <laughs> to be for you. And I really think that it's awesome that you guys have created a business and you two are business partners. And I want us to talk about what brought you where you are today. So it all started about 24 years ago when she was oh. born. No, I'm just kidding. So. Uh, <laughs> So we've always just kind of had a passion for the arts, whether mm -hmm. photography, videography, and whatnot. Yeah. So in about 2013, mm -hmm. we decided it might be cool to start taking graduation pictures for our high school friends. And then that, over time, just kind of developed mm -hmm. to becoming what we have now. And what's great, we have usually been best friends. Yeah. There's a <laughs> usually. Few, there's a few times where we've gotten like disagreements and all that stuff. Yeah. But it's been easy working with her, and uh -huh. I hope I've been easy to work with as well. So okay. it's, been, it's been a lot of fun. Now, what do you guys like most about what you get to do? I think personally, I like meeting new people. Mm -hmm. And that probably sounds cliche, but every time I get to meet a new person and kind of like figure out their personality within the 30 minutes or the hour, yeah. it's just like really cool because you just get it. I don't know, you just remember that there's so many different kinds of right. people out there. Right. And that's my favorite part. Mm -hmm. Definitely kind of meeting new people, but then also constantly just being on the move and on yeah. the go. Mm -hmm. right, right. I love the fact that we get to yeah. drive to different areas in Houston mm -hmm. and always discover new locations around town. And then also just being able to document different people's uh, special occasions, mm -hmm. whether it be you know, just a normal event or a wedding engagement. Right. Just kind of cool knowing that we have a part in their life's history. Exactly. So no matter what, 50 years from now, when they look back, they're looking at our pictures that we yeah. took for them. So I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, I think so too. Just to be part of so many people's milestones, that's mm -hmm. a great honor. And so I think that's awesome that you guys get to do that. And I feel like it kind of flows into the next question, which is what keeps you guys going and what motivates you to 
keep doing more and more shoots. First off, we have a lot of burnout moments. <laughs> a lot of moments we just need to step away and yeah. just take a break. But what kind of keeps us going? First off, uh -huh. just dealing with people, talking to people, meeting new mm -hmm. people, yeah. traveling, uh, taking pictures, all that stuff. We're mm -hmm. passionate about it. Yeah. So that obviously definitely helps keep pushing the um, the fire to keep us going or whatnot right. and just knowing again that we are able to just document so many yeah. different people's life mm -hmm. stories like something to kind of feel excited about yeah. and being able to see their smile or their reaction mm -hmm. after they've received their pictures just great knowing that we're able to do that what about you Vicky? yeah so very similar we've always grown up with our parents taking photos mm -hmm. so we always love to document our life yes. and growth yeah so it's funny to see because we've had some clients where we would do gender reveal mm -hmm. and that would turn into baby mm -hmm. bump photos yeah. and then first birthday so it's kind of like you get to grow with some people yeah and I really love that so growing with some customers yeah. it's so neat like yeah. that keeps us going that's great that you have a chance to grow with your mm -hmm. customers and then also speaking of customers what experience do you strive to create every single time I do more of the talking when it comes to like our clients yeah but I kind of try to make sure that they're getting what they want out of it exactly uh, it's pretty much all about them I want to express their kind of creativity mm -hmm. as best I can I want the photos to really reflect the individual person right because I'm all about people being themselves and mm -hmm. so that's what I try to pull yeah from each yeah. person definitely kind of piggybacking off of what she just mentioned <laughs> the experience we try to create is just one that's kind of comfortable first starting up the shoot usually you have a lot of kind of nervous kind of intro Hit clients yeah, yes. who don't really want to talk, don't really mm -hmm. want to communicate what they exactly want. Mm -hmm. So primary role that you have usually <laughs> just again kind of talking with the clients mm -hmm. or just making them feel as comfortable as possible exactly. and it's always great seeing these completely just shelled and introverted <laughs> people to start about halfway through. It's always through, about halfway through. Like halfway you, through the shoot, they're just moving around like they're yeah. models, like they're on America's Next Top Model or something. So, just well, kind of great oh, seeing sorry. that. <laughs> so, definitely just trying to create an experience mm -hmm. that's as comfortable and as natural yeah. as possible. Something I hate, 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 hate uh -huh. is when you go to like Target or JCPenney and get those like life touch pictures, how posed <laughs> and just weird and creepy they look. Yeah. And feel. So, you want to do the exact opposite from right. that. That's neat. Like, since you've been doing it for such a long time, you know that okay around halfway that's when everybody starts to bloom now I'm excited to experience what y'all have been talking about so what are we gonna do today today we're gonna go outside we're gonna take a few pictures I think, I think that's what we do. Yeah, right? you know, it might, I like, guess. I don't know. We do have this camera, you know, I we, guess we could just click some photos. We brought a camera <laughs> along, we could try taking pictures uh -huh. see what happens, but mm -hmm. it's not just about us. You're also gonna join in. You're gonna be kind of a model person, so you're gonna be up in front oh and be snapping goodness. pictures of you. So. It's gonna be easy. You're gorgeous. So it's oh, gonna be thank you. So are you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So are we ready to show everyone the behind the scenes and snap some pictures? I think we yeah. are. Sounds All right. Good. Let's do it. <laughs> Photo shoot time was finally upon us. I experienced what you can expect during a photo session with Ismail and Vicky. From the moment you meet them, they make you feel so comfortable. During my session, Vicky gave me great tips to ensure that I look my best, and they also had great suggestions on backgrounds and poses to keep everything fresh and exciting. fun photo op. I just love the expressions that they captured. What keeps Ismail and Vicky going is the fact that they have the opportunity to celebrate the special moments in the lives of others and that definitely shows through in their work. They have built a solid brand. What brand have you created for yourself? I challenge you to work to improve what you've already established. New levels, people. If you have an event, milestone, amazing outfit, or something else on the horizon that you would like to capture professionally, 
reach out to Gloss and Photo. Ismail and Vicky will be happy to work with you. You've made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that little bell icon below so you're notified every time I post a new video. Also, be sure to spread the love and share this video with a friend. If you have any suggestions for where I should go next in the Houston area, be sure to leave a comment below. Until next time, peace and blessings. Mwah. Mwah.